Hey, what's up, YouTube? Acid here again with uh, another video in my Borsig. Um, definitely enjoyed this game. Had uh, some good teamwork. And a couple people definitely saved the game, so I was pretty happy about that. So, start off here, drive my ass up this huge hill. Gonna take a little while, so. Let's just sit here, relax, have a Coke and a smile, and wait. Definitely not one of my favorite maps. Um, I hate all these hills. I play a lot of Russian tank destroyers, which aren't known for good gun depression, so kind of limited to where I can go. Borsig has a little bit more depression than most of the Russian tank destroyers. So, get up here, decide I'm going to go down the valley, almost drive off the cliff in the wrong spot. So, I go to adjust my position, and here comes this kamikaze, going full speed down the hill. Look at that, no damage. Me, I'm careful, I take damage. Somehow. Oh well. Alright, so, I see we got a little bit of a fight in front of us, so... I'm anxious to get up there and do some damage. see a lot of people on the hill. I'm not sure if they're at the edge of the hill or if they're sitting back a little bit, so. Take a shot. Miss completely. Yag Panther takes him out pretty easily. So I figured I don't feel like sitting back and keep an eye on the hill. I'm gonna move up and see what's going on up here. So we've got a large group of heavies that are, uh, well, two heavies and a tank destroyer that are pinned down by the Tiger, so we'll put a nice side shot into him. Move up a little bit, and I see he's got some company back there. No depression to get the Panther, but I see this nice M6 right here. Nice shot into his frontal armor. M6 stands pretty much no chance against the Borsig. At this point, I've Realize, you know, I could probably take a hit or two, and not have to worry about it too much. So, last thing, we got this Yag Panther sitting here. Figure I'll pop up and say hello. Sit here, just saw he fired. Pull up, nice shot, penned his front armor. Yeah, he stands no chance either. Wait for my reload. Nice shot on the move, penned his front armor again, took him out. One thing I love about this tank destroyer, it's got a pretty good reload for as strong of a gun as it has. And I'm fine with the fact it doesn't have much armor. Now here I realize there's people that came down the hill behind us, so... Work my way back over here, see if I can help these guys out. And I see the enemy teams dropping pretty quickly. So right about now I'm realizing, damn it, I gotta drive up another big ass hill. It's one thing about this tank destroyer, it doesn't really, doesn't really get anywhere in a hurry bit more mobile than some of the other ones, but yeah, still you're not breaking any speed records in this thing. So I start my nice long climb again. See, they're all pretty much huddled up in the center of the map there. Ever so slowly creeping up the hill. 
close though. I see the action. See this guy kind of rolling out in the open. I know his enemy is to my right, but I uh, figure this guy's too good of a target to pass up. So take a little side shot there. But I take that guy out, so I'm willing, willing to take that. Still got 437 hit points left, so still feeling pretty confident. And then I see everybody uh, do a little lemming train over the hill, except for that guy. He stops. So, pull up here. Figure these guys aren't even paying attention. Just hoping I could one-shot the motherland, but no. He's got to be on, like, ten hit points. He turns around sees me. Put my second shot into him, and then I realize, oh, he's backing up. Yeah, I know this ain't gonna end good. And there it goes. He took me out, so enemy team's down to two people. We got four left. So I'm thinking, alright, you know, they're capping. We can get the, we got a guy right there, and I realize, oh man, he's not moving. So I start getting a little worried at this point. They're getting pretty close. So I look at him, he must have quit the game or his controller died or something. We got one guy capping. Heavy making his way up there. And luckily, he pulls up just in time, stops the cap. Or else we would have definitely lost right there. So he pulls up, manages to get another shot into him, gets rammed. But it's still good though. We still got our guy capping. But now they got two guys capping our flag, so. I know it's pretty much down to. It's the Ag Panther 2. So about now I'm starting to get worried. Like, oh man, I'm having a good game. We're going to lose. He gets there in time. It misses his first shot. So I start to worry a little bit here because he's on half health. Takes another shot. Knocks him down to about a quarter. Hits this shot. Resets his cap. So now I'm thinking, okay, we got this now. So pretty excited at this point he gets taken out unfortunately now it's just down to our AFK and the guy capping so yeah I was pretty mad at this guy but at least he stayed on the cap at least he didn't try to turn around come back to the base to get that other guy or something so he was smart so there's some good teamwork in this match good people uh Saving the match because without that heavy and that Yag Panther 2, we would have definitely lost this game. So, fun game. Pretty good amount of experience. Pretty good amount of cash. I'll take that. Five kills. A little over 3,000 damage. Second class. It's not bad. Um, people must have some really good games in this tank destroyer because. I haven't got an ace tanker on it yet. I've had some good matches in it. So, see me and that Yag Panther 2 did pretty good. Top two people in the game. And, uh, yeah. Definitely a good game. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Don't forget to hit like and sub if you enjoy my content.